And it's all over. It is all over. Liverpool have lost at home yet again. They lost against Atalanta and now they lost against Crystal Palace. It's a huge, huge blow. Huge blow for Liverpool title race. Huge blow for Liverpool title race. Now Liverpool going to be third. 71 points. Man City won yesterday. 73 points. Two points behind Manchester City. And now it's not even in Liverpool's hand anymore. Arsenal against Aston Villa is coming up next. Bro, like this is, this is insane. This is insane. Twice Liverpool got beat in the space of a week at home. They've never lost at home in like 28 games. And it's just, it's just how it is. Football sometimes is momentum. And they've just lost their momentum losing against Atalanta at home. And they paid for it today. Again, Liverpool again has been wasteful. Similar game to the to the Manchester United game where they lost the FA Cup and where they drew at Old Trafford. They just wasted their chances, just did not take their chances. Today, Liverpool had numerous chances. Salah had a chance, Nunes had a chance, and though Jones had a chance of one-on-one, -on -one, just did not take his chance. So they're paying for it. They're paying for it now. It's a huge, huge blow for Liverpool title race. Huge, huge blow. It's a huge shocker. Like I said, Man City up top, Arsenal second, and Liverpool third. It's the third loss. It's the third loss for Liverpool and just could not come at a worse times, at a worse times for them. Today, right, Gakpo against Atalanta was good and he gets dropped today. That's a massive call by Klopp and Nunes was missing a lot of chance against Atalanta and he starts today. And again today, he misses an easy chance. I mean, easy, easy chance. He's, he's been missing all season. He's been missing a lot of chances and I don't understand Jurgen Klopp is probably going to regret the fact that he did not play or start Jota or Gakpo uh, instead of instead of Nunes, to be honest with you. But that's not the only reason why they lost this game. They missed a lot of opportunities. Like I said, clear cut chance opportunities they missed. So can't do more. I mean, Jurgen Klopp can do more. His job is to set up the team properly uh, so that the team can create chances. And he did create chances. It's up to the players after that to take them. And they, did, they just didn't take them. They just didn't take them. And Eze has made them pay in Crystal Palace of one. Uh, let me just quickly show you um, the table. Let me just quickly show you the table here. Uh, it's a huge blow, bro. Huge, huge blow here for Liverpool. Huge, huge blow, as you can see, Lyon. As you can see now, Manchester City up top, cruising, 73 points. Arsenal coming up next. If they do win, they will go up top. They will go up top. So we got to be live for that game, by the way. Liverpool, uh, third in the Premier League. They played 32 games, 71 points. Massive blow. They can't even get a draw today. They can't even get a draw today. That's a huge, huge disappointment for Liverpool. But look... They can't give up now. Their next game is against Atalanta. I highly, highly doubt they got to overturn that. But after that, they got Fulham away. They got Everton away. They got West Ham away. So it just doesn't get any easier. Just does not get any easier for Liverpool. So right now, I would say that Man City is a huge favorite. Man City is a huge favorite. But that, that is it, guys. That is it on another result. West Ham have lost against Fulham 2-0 at home. But yeah, guys, we got to be live for the Arsenal game. Make sure you join us for that one. What do you think about this? Do you still think Liverpool can go all the way and, and, and win in the, the Premier League? I think they just let it slip. I don't think they can win it anymore. But you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about Liverpool and who you think is going to win the title race. But that is it, guys. That is it. Make sure you smash the like on the stream. Do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.